Good morning. Welcome to another live stream. I feel like I'm sat here waiting for the waiting for YouTube to show that I'm streaming, so that's why I'm silent at the very beginning. I look like I don't know what I'm doing. Good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, this morning I'm going to be working on a, a, a track, moving it forward. I've done... Um, this is the fifth version? No, this will be sixth. I'm going to save it with the date. That's what I do with everything. Save live set as. I'm going to save a new copy. This one's called Botanical Envelopes, and I definitely started this on stream. Um, so that's just what I do. That's my date formatting. Year, month, day. And it just ensures they're in sequential order so you can easily see. Just an easy set and forget system. Uh, so I did the same as I did with the tracks that I streamed about yesterday. I made a list when I was away from Ableton. And uh, these were the points uh, ending to be fade out by parts. Start with art fade in alone, slowly bringing in effects as bass comes in. I like the break pitch down effects, but it doesn't work with that particular sound. It needs to be more staccato. So the, 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 the build up in the intro has got this do -do 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 -do, like kind of descending break pattern where I've pitched it down. It's just not working. Uh, is the beginning section long enough? Some of the arpeggiator parts are unwieldy, too much resonance. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another checklist. So, I think I'm going to start with the first two points first, as they're the, they're, they're the easiest. I like to start with the easiest things to build momentum to ease myself into the, into the session. <clears throat> I haven't listened to this track this morning, and uh, I mean, how useful that is for you watching this, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, maybe it is just to see that you don't have to listen back to the whole track a million times and go insane having heard it too much to make progress on it. Yeah, maybe it is a good idea. So, uh, create. I'm gonna create fade out, create fades or ending parts, leaving up last. I kind of want the, the art to just be trailing out, leaving up last. Create. Okay, fade in for intro. Up alone. Then more percussive elements like that. There's hi hats and stuff. And more percussive elements and bass. I'm not going to worry about is the beginning section long enough. I'll see if, see if that's something that keeps coming up and then address it, just extend it. <laughs> uh, I feel like I need to redo the automation on the arpeggiator, but I might just leave that until, see how we get on. I'm going to put it, redo automation run on arpeggiator. What I'm, mean by that is like to record me twiddling knobs, redo automation on main arpeggiator. I mean, I could do that or I could just find the bits where I thought there was too much resonance and just pull them down. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna do that because it's quicker. I didn't put it in the title yet, but I, I'd like to see if I can work on two in this session again. Um, I'm gonna set a timer. So, find resonance bots and pull down automation. Easy. Um. So 
see, I'm not going to worry about that. Where's strike through? Anyway, is that it? No, that's not it. Don't care. Okay. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna deal with the break bit last. Try a more staccato sound slash break part for. I'll tell you what else I'm gonna do. I've just had um for had an idea part for the pitch down intro build up. Uh, use, I'm going to use that <clears throat> RX950 filter. God, I'm well impressed with that. That's great. That's great for like 20 quid. Really, really nice little plugin. Simple as well, not overwhelming. Okay. I'm going to do notes for the other one as well now. So new age tape here. Not enough tension for the first drop. Okay, I'll skip over that. Break cuts in. So I'm gonna remove all but first break and, because I can't remember what it's called, first break and the cool second drop break. Gonna focus on just having two, try and do it's it's a minimal one, and I have worked on worked on it on stream before. But just gonna do, go for the less is more approach and just really work a couple of breaks, like do mad stuff to them. Um, use repetitions of dot sound in intro. That's like some bing, like crystal sound. Uh, switch or breakdown. Dub out with just one delay. Oh, echo. All in the all in the uh. In the spirit of keeping things minimal. Okie dokie. So this is our botanical envelopes. I'm just gonna. It is. It is early. I know, but um. That's okay. So we have our checklist for this track. I'm gonna work through them sequentially. I'm going to set a, how long have we got? I might set myself 25 minutes to be realistic. And then we're going to have a, let's run it for 25. Uh, I'm going to set one of these markers here, add stream marker, see if that does anything. All right. Create fades for ending parts, leaving arp last. So let's jump to the ending part. Whoa, sorry, that's loud. My VHS bad boy again. Really liked what that did. Something's happening with React. So whenever I open it, it's like giving me a quick message or something. What's going on there? Probably needs a restart or something. 
long as it doesn't crash. What are we going to go for? When your mum doesn't know how to set up the VCR. <laughs> really doesn't know how to set it up. Home movies. yesterday probably save it should save it as a rack why don't we do that now W VHS blend rack. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of myself here when I do this. Do 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 very at the very end and the other is just going to be blended out. Thank you. 
I'll just go for a, <clears throat> a brazen fade out there. Maybe we'll go for the VHS, put the VHS on. This is too. Yeah, 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 I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Oh, listen to that noise. Oh, just staring at, trying to remember what you, what plug you wanted. I mean, you could probably do this in the sampler, but I'm going to, do it in here because it makes for a smoother transition, I think. Gotta find my nice little uh, Max for Live pitch drop again. I know I, I'll probably overdo this and then be like, I've, I, I've used this effect too much. How we roll? Go for a whole measure or something. Yes, nailed it. Love that. <laughs> Just a nice bit of ear candy. Lovely, lovely. Really like that. 
Um, okay, so I don't. I want. I want the high hats to. I'm going to go for a bit of a longer intro. I'll even go for like another. Uh, we'll see what eight bars is like. Bit the difference, like. Just like. No. Can we simplify the envelope? Just gonna do that for now. Amazing what volume can do. Ah. What I'm trying to do. 
like, this is really annoying with the pen and the MIDI thing. When it doesn't give you maximum velocity. A lot of time is running out soon. That's the timer. I've got to stop on this.
Okay. She doing this this Really, really slamming this. <laughs> I think she's saying she wished to leave a message. <laughs> all right, how are we doing? So I think I think we did all of those. Ah, resonant spots. How are we doing for time? I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do work on the other one as well. Uh, I'm just going to leave the resonance spots for now and bounce this out. Hello? Ah, oh, hello, Jason. Yeah, well, it's good to have you. Good to have you on when you're driving, mate. Glad, glad, uh, <coughs> glad to keep you company. All right, so we've done a fair few versions of this now. So I need to leave soon, but I think I'm going to try and. I'm certainly going to. Okay, so we didn't do that one, but I, I'm not worried about that. Repetitions of dot sound. I'm going to see if I can blast out these three. Once this is exported, oh, I need to go on here. No. Mm -mm. Over listening is the enemy. The more times you listen to, to every time you listen to your track, you erode your objectivity. 
especially as you get nearer the, the end, wherever that is. I think really you have to abandon the idea that you ever finish anything. You never get to that point where you, when you first start making music, you think, yeah, I'll finish this at some point. But you never actually finish anything. You kind of take it as far as you can and you're like, I can't, I just can't, I can't do any more to it. I mean, it's re there's, there's, there, there's like no destination. Yeah, you, n you never finish anything. You only take it like 70% of the way. And then you have to, you have to let it go and put it out, out into the world or uh, start something new. I've learnt more from releasing music that I wasn't sure about than uh, not releasing anything <laughs> and holding on to it. I think I made a bit of a pact with myself to kind of not, to just experiment, to see like the, what was the minimum that I could get away with. And I was pleasantly surprised that like, not think that there being the odd thing that at one time I would have been really precious about that I could, I could let go of. So I'm just exporting this and I've made a note of when I bounced it. I've got all these to listen to, all these splurges I've done. Yeah, that would be my biggest, like, forget the notion you ever finish anything, because you don't. <laughs> you can call it that, but it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> yeah, you could say you've finished, but part of you's always, there's always something, you'll, you'll, you'll always find something. Just an, like, you have to get used to that. You have to, you have to live with the idea, you know, how, how, how much can you live with it? Or like, when's the threshold of when you can live with it? So I'm just going to wait for this to bounce out. Give it for time, quarter two. Yes, I'm just waiting for Ableton to finish bouncing. This track's quite a lot going on. <clears throat> and then I'm going to try and have a little quick session on the other one. Cool, all right. Hold fast. Oh no, it's not that one. Harmony, is it cold? I need to save here. What have I done with that then? Oh, it's there. I need to. Yes, please. <laughs> While I'm waiting for this to open. Oh, it crashed. Why is it crashing then? Something's going on. If you're new to the channel, watching this back, you're learning something, please consider subscribing. It'd be good to have you here. There's loads of free content across the channel, ways to support the channel in the description. I don't get what's going on there. Something's causing it to crash. I reckon it's probably Reactor. Oh, this is my gripe with plugins, stuff like this. It's like they don't properly integrate. I do. I'm really enjoying Reactor, but why do they always make things crash? Man. Hmm. Yeah, I reckon it's probably that VHS plugin or something.
What was that? I definitely, I definitely save that. All right. Set, be harsh on myself here. Set a fifteen-minute timer because I've got as much time on it. Fifteen minutes, and I'm just going to literally jump into it. Twenty-eighth. All right, I'm starting that timer now. I'm still here. Just you can see more of the screen. Okay. What we got in here then? Oh yeah. What we're going. To Remove all but first break and call set. So I'm going to yeah, just get rid of those. See what it sounds like with that. There we go. Dot sound. Okay. So that is what is happening? This? It's not that, is it? Is it this? No, it's not that. This thing. those two bits done. Twelve minutes left up took me three minutes. That's taking me three minutes. Reduce repetition dot sound. Try mad sort of drum switch for breakdown, right? So that's this weird bit where it goes to like this different synth, this one. <laughs> go something completely off the bat here I'm gonna go for like a drum machine like a uh, something like this these kind of like surprises are, are what can really add interest to your music
Going for a little drop light pitch down again, and I'm going to go for the. Uh, I'm not going to do the tape stop here, but. <laughs> this here I am going to use that bloody thing again though because it sounds wicked. And it's probably going to crash Ableton sort of save it. Four minutes left on the clock, four minutes left. I love doing this stuff against the clock actually. It always, it seems to, ma it seems to like expand the time. Strange. It's amazing how much you can get done in 25 minutes if you're focused. Yeah, something to do with reactor. bad boy in here.
Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Gonna have it so this pit this sounds like this high hat's pitching up. the timer. Right, I still got a bit of time, just going to pop over. Because I'm going to flip in. Sounds pretty cool, David. Okay, yeah, that's everything I wanted to do in this one anyway.
Thanks, Sarsan. I want this one to be like sparse and, you know, jungleistic. Let's shoot in a sec. Just going to put that on, export the bad boy. Okay. Great, I've worked on all of those draft tracks this week then. Nudged them all along, 220128. Okay, cool. So I know when, and now I've got to just diary it for seven days. That's great. So I'll set and forget. All right. Oh, I'm going to come back on and just round up session. Yeah, so I'm going to call it there just at. Did I export that? What's happening with this? Export. Always export. Be kind and rewind. I'm sure there's a preset on that thing that says that. If I bounce that botanical envelope, did I? Did I bounce that to splurges? No, that should be draft. I mean, it created a card. See, that's annoying, isn't it? Delete this card. Archive, that's fine. All right, live is doing its thing all over the place for some reason. And I am going to call it there. Hope you have a good Friday, and I will catch you round um yeah not sure when but i'll be back on again soon cheers thanks for watching thanks jason